Hi, so the one thing I cannot claim to be is an electroplating expert. I'm not an expert by any means, but I, I have done some experimentation and some practice with it, and I thought I'd share that practice with you. Now, what we're going to look at is electroplating this sort of stuff, leaves and uh, flowers. And we're going to electroplate those as kind of keepsakes, really. Uh, so you've got a prom corsage or your... Uh, your wedding cassara, something like that, and you want to preserve it, then electroplating that is a really nice way of keeping that flower forever. Now, I'm going to do other electroplating videos where we electroplate other organics, so things like cloth, and I'm thinking baby shoes, leather, again, first set of shoes, uh, bone for uh, interesting and gothic jewellery would be kind of a really cool thing to do. So I'm going to do a whole load of organic plating. But the secret to organic plating, I found, is time. If you actually connect it up and try to plate it too quickly, what you'll do is just burn off the conductive surface and you end up not getting an electroplate. What you want to do is just put a nice low voltage through it, so it's a few milliamps running through there per square centimetre. Take your time with it and you'll get a very nice finish on that. And it's all about time. And because it's all about time, it will take me a while to do those things while I electroplate them, and then I'll do some demonstration video on the result of that electroplating. So this one's going to be about flowers and leaves in that part of the organics. Now, the main thing really is electroplating tank. Now, what I use actually is some kind of vessel. I've got here a big glass uh, beaker, but I also use uh, recycle these plastic beakers here. And if we want a good plate, what we have to do is surround the thing that we want to plate with the plating material. So I'm going to copper plate. What I've got here is some copper foil. It's actually quite thick foil. And it lets me pop that in there to make a nice surround. So my thing that I'm electroplating is going to go in the centre there. And it's got an even surround around it, so it'll get a much more even plate than trying to put one side on and then the other side and turn it or something like that. This gives a nice even plate. Now, in of putting organics in here, they will move and they can touch these. So what I normally do is put some kind of cloth in there. And this is just ordinary dishcloth. And if I roll that up and pop that in there, then it doesn't matter if my leaf or flower moves because it can't actually touch the sides here. So that's my plating tank ready. All I do then is fill that with the electroplating solution. Now the electroplating solution I use is this universal electroplating solution because we've had good reports. We've been using this for about two to three years, something like that. Lots of people have been using it. We've had great reports on this. And this does a very nice job, actually, of copper plating. It brings out a nice bright plate without you having to add any other additives. Now, I haven't tried other additives. All I've done is electroplate use of the universal solution. If you want to add other additives, by all means, do experiment. See if you can make it better. But this will do a very nice job just like that. Then I fill it up and get it ready to plate. Now, if I'm going to plate something organic, like a leaf, for instance, then I want to attach to it, and I, I tend to attach here, and that can be kind of difficult. So what I use is a bit of this stuff. It's some copper wire that I got from the electrician's store, and it's twisted stranded copper wire. Now it's uncoated, so wherever it touches anything, then it's going to make a nice contact. So I just strip that back, and inside there are a load of strands of fairly durable copper wire. I'm going to take one of the strands out. Now, I know other people make cages. This is just the way I do it. I'm going to take a strand out. I've got a strand of copper wire there that I can attach to my leaf. And I do that by just twisting it around the stem of the leaf to make a nice contact. There we go. Now I need to coat my leaf. Now, the problem very often with organics is that they can be greasy. And if they're greasy, you need to remove the grease. That can be a little difficult, damaging the thing. So if it's a bit greasy, it helps if you first of all dip it into some varnish, some ordinary varnish. The varnish will stick to it. Once that's dry, you no longer have a greasy surface. Now here's our graphene conductive ink. And the only thing you really need to do is dip that into the ink and the ink will form a nice conformal coating all the way down, back out again, and leave that to dry. When that's dry, 
we have a nice coating of the ink on the leaf and it's coated where I made the connection, so we have a nice coating there. As I say, if you try to put too much power, what will happen is that carbon will burn off. To um, remedy that, put some more blobs of ink on it and you'll get another nice conductive coating on it again. Now I equally did that here, which I've just started actually. So if I just undo that and what I've got here, there we go, is that flower that I dip coated. So I took this flower, dipped it in there, let it dry, and I get a conductive coated flower. The good thing about the dip coating method is that I don't have to try and get a brush into everything. If I try to get a brush into everything, I'll probably destroy that flower because it's quite, actually quite delicate. The ink forms a nice coating over it and gets all the surface detail out of there that you would otherwise lose. You're using a thick ink, which will give you lots of blobs. I put a little twist in the wire, pop that into my universal plating solution, and you can see I've got the copper, which is this one here, attached there to the positive, and the flower gets attached to the negative, and off she goes, plating. Now that's only at two volts, so it's drawing a very small amount of power. I'll give it two volts for about 12 hours, and then I'll turn it up, and that prevents it burning off. As I say, it does take time to do this, but the results are really quite nice. And here's a leaf that I started yesterday, and you can see it's got a beautiful shiny copper coating on it, and that will coat beautifully. I need to give that about another 12 hours in the bath, and then it'll have a lovely shiny copper coating, but it's already got a really nice coating on it. So that's how you go about uh, copper plating, leaves and flowers, using our graphene conductive ink and our universal plating solution. Obviously, a lot of fun to be had with that, and we'll be doing other videos where we code other materials later on. Anyway, I hope that was of interest, and thank you very much for watching.